weight began to slip away from us, becoming withdrawn, erratic, and depressed at first. Breaking news, a lawyer is trying to spare a man from the death sentence hours before a judge decides Wade Wilson's fate. A jury recommended Wilson be sentenced to death for killing Christine Melton and also Diane, Diane Ruiz in 2019 in Cape Coral. Now this morning, doctors went over brain scans. Wilson had to look at whether he had any brain damage. NBC2 Samantha Serban is live in the courthouse. Now, Sam, you've been there since day one. So what exactly happened this morning? morning. Right, so we spent a lot of this morning focusing on those brain scans that were done and whether or not Wade Wilson has any brain damage. One expert witness said one thing, one expert said another. But more interesting than that this morning was a letter read to the court from the defense attorney who was actually written from Wade Wilson's adoptive parents. Now, I'll go more in depth on that for you later this afternoon. But first, I want to introduce you to a juror who I spoke with just last night. Um, so I went in just expecting it to be kind of like mundane, maybe civil, whatever. The woman sitting in front of me served on Wade Wilson's jury this summer. She didn't want to be identified, concerned for her family's safety. So we'll call her by another name, Juror 87. Uh, my first thought, honestly, uh, was how big he was. I was like, oh, that's a big dude. As far as the tattoos and stuff went, it didn't really matter. It was just another tattooed big guy. The evidence, gruesome. You you don't unsee stuff like that. The testimony, heartbreaking. Uh, Diane Ruiz's fiance, um, when he spoke about, uh, you know, giving her that last kiss goodbye and she thought that he hadn't. I mean, it just like takes everything in you not to try and, you know, hold back those tears. Like, it's such a human experience. It's something you do every day with your partner or your spouse. Wade Wilson, now convicted of strangling Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz to death in Cape Coral. This juror says the guilty verdict, easy. Recommendation for sentencing, not so much. We all got back in there and it was just quiet. It was just very, very quiet. She voted in favor of the death penalty for both murders. She explains why one less person voted for lethal injection in Christine's case. The prosecution was trying to say that he went out with that intent purposely to find a victim that night and, and kill her. Um, some of the jurors did not feel that way. They felt that this just happened to be the person that he met and it happened. He could have stopped, but he didn't and chose. So it's first degree, but not with that forethought and, and malice in there. Where is Diane picked? Where is Diane? He went out and he found her and he chose her and he picked her and, and he killed her. So that is how we ended up with the extra on her versus Christine. She won't come to see Wilson's sentence today. She's done with the violence and the antics especially with the now fanfare surrounding the 30-year-old convict, Juror 87 wants everyone to focus on these two women. I just hope that once everything is you know, said and done, people will remember their families and their, you know, the victims and not Wade Wilson. And the morning arguments just wrapped up. So now we're about two hours from finding out whether Wade Wilson will go to death row or spend life in prison without the possibility of parole. NBC2 will have team coverage for you starting at 3 o'clock. I'm reporting from downtown Fort Myers, Samantha Serban, NBC2. Breaking news.